Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is part two to your 12 wheel house reading, which you can expect for 2023. I'm going to go down each house, let you know what it represents and what it means with your tarot, guys. Please watch part one, okay? Um, so let's move on to your fifth house. It's all about sexy stuff. Okay, it's romance, love, joy, play, creativity, fertility, love affairs, childlike spirit, expressing children, and speculation. Well, we do have the Knight of Cups here, guys, upright, and the Moon in reverse. So there could definitely be a Cancer of significance. If not, that's fine. Pisces, Scorpio, you can have it in your chart. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like there is somebody who definitely has the sweets for you. You know, they see hearts when they see you. All right, guys, and I feel like they've been holding back for a while, and I feel like they're ready to like let their feelings be known to you maybe they finally came to terms they got some clarity um how they really feel about you okay but i kind of feel like this is very sweet it's very like i don't know it's giving me like butterflies in my stomach it's not even for me but it's <laughs> like it's very i feel like this is sweet to me this is the way i'm reading it um they feel like i mean you're the like creme de la creme for them you're like everything to them. They view you as very charming. This person can also be very charming. Also, the Knight of Cups definitely signifies a charming person. Ch I'm hearing a charming man from the Smiths. This charming man. Anyway, some of you could really dig the Smiths. Um, anyways, so whether you're partnership or not, this person definitely uh, wants to come through here for you. Um, they view you as, you're like perfect in their eyes. I'm just saying. I don't know who this is, but I like him already, ladies. Just saying. So let's move on to the sixth house, which is all about routines, health, fitness system, analytical nature, pets, work, habits, organization, sense of usefulness, service given. <clears throat> we do have the tower in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, guys, now I'm hearing that song from Rihanna, around and around we go. So I, I feel like there's something that is an ongoing theme in your life that it keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. Like, whether it be an addiction of some kind or something to do with your health. I do feel more drawn with, with health-wise, okay? But take it how it resonates in whatever dynamic I told you about earlier, what the sixth house means. Let's say, for instance, you, this can be, you know, someone in your surroundings as well, okay, guys? If it's not, you can be vice versa energies. Uh, like, say, for instance, you, you battle with cancer, okay? And if you do, my heart goes out to you. Lots of healing energy your way. And then you're in remission. Then it comes back. You know what I mean? And then you're in remission. And then it comes back again. So I, I feel like there's something here that you're trying to avoid whatever this may be. Anything that can hinder your health. Okay? Um, I feel like you're trying to avoid this so it won't come back here. Some of you could definitely be overindulging in something. Okay, say for instance, it could be substance abuse, alcohol, drugs, sex, anything like that. Any kind of toxic behaviors, okay, with the Nine of Cups in reverse. To me, this is like also overindulging in toxic behaviors. And you just don't want to feel sad anymore. You know, this is the sad card. Well, a sad card, Nine of Cups in reverse. And the Tower, you know, it's like been there, done that. I don't want to go back to this place. I'm hearing, honestly, I don't want to feel that way ever again. It was like maybe your lowest point. And it's like you're trying to prevent that. And honestly, I would have gone with something else. Like maybe if I would have talked about like work or something like that. But the fact is I got this card, bad health. So I'm going to have to go with that, guys. I do feel there's somebody here who may struggle with their health. All right. And this might be an ongoing theme in their life. And I do see you wanting to take back control of your health, guys, here. Um, or definitely trying to live a healthier lifestyle or try to drop anything that's been kind of hindering you, a codependency of some kind, okay? Um, I kind of feel like I have to tell you, like, like your experience in life, I feel like, it, like, like your story, whatever the story may be in your case, like, it, it will help somebody. So some of you may talk about your experiences. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like there's something with your story that's going to help somebody. So 
just throwing that out there guys maybe you want to share your story below or if it's too personal whatever but um anyways positive healing vibes to you guys love you guys so let's move on to your seventh house guys it's all about situationships and everything in between because not everybody's partnered okay <laughs> uh, but this is not just love guys this can be you know of course relationships marriage contracts business partners equality sharing interpersonal um style so where are we at okay we are here we are with the eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles wow so some of you definitely will be having some sort of um you may be working really hard you could be working with someone here who's kind of like in a higher up position or someone who can lend you a helping hand it could be a tourist of significant okay maybe uh maybe this could be like a partner maybe you're working with a partner or a partner will come in here who wants to work with you when it comes to you know work personal projects if this is like a love you might be having this king of pentacles wanting to work on a connection with you um again it's situationship so the spectrum's kind of open here you know take it how it resonates for you guys this could be somebody wanting to come in here to work on whatever relationship this may be with you okay um we got the bear here so we have uh strength power um and rest so somebody here may view you as someone who would be really good on their side like you can would be an asset in other words whether it be through love or work of some kind of partnership they may view you as someone who's going to be a good asset so there you go let's move on to let me see what time it is okay let's move on to your eighth house it's basically about intention merging sex intimacy shared finances taxes right around the corner um property loans joint ventures goals mystery partners resources bonding and even death Whew. that's a mouthful no all right <clears throat> if you feel like you were wronged especially when it comes to like maybe somebody like messing with your finances your property anything like that please know that there will be definitely justice on your side here okay they could be a libra of significance i feel like there could have been some sort of fallout with somebody especially if this was like a friend co-worker of course it could be family whatever um there could have been some fallout this person could have taken advantage of you okay you could have found something out about this person all right there was kind of like they kind of screwed you over in other words all right so please know that you will be getting justice from this person i also feel like i have to say like something's abandoned maybe like i'm hearing abandoned ship maybe say for instance you were partnering with somebody and then you this whatever happened you're like forget this i pulled out of whatever this was okay some of you this could definitely be also like a, a lot i'm hearing like lots of property or something like that okay something like abandoning something maybe you feel abandoned by this person or vice versa okay so on a side note there we go let's move forward to your oh my time okay let's move forward to your ninth house which is big thinking traveling uh philosophy higher education religion okay cultural relationships learning and ethics okay i'm sorry i'm still trying to look at my time <clears throat> okay guys we do have the four of cups here and the three of cups Wow, okay, there could definitely be a new people you're meeting, new acquaintances here. There could be some sort of new offer coming in here for you. All right, guys, some of you may be thinking about traveling uh, for school. This could be work, definitely work, probably, because I feel like this is, you know, with the Four of Cups in reverse, which I do like the Four of Cups in reverse, is like new opportunities, new approaches to old situations, new acquaintances. There would be some sort of get together here with the three of cups and sort of celebration because people have been watching you so they might you might get some sort of offer that's going to require for you to travel of some kind so please stay tuned for part three guys i'm almost done so sorry i'll get into that more okay bye bye